In this video, we're going to be using Hag's Aftermath and the Heritage Collection Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in, folks. Welcome in. As mentioned before, today we're going to be using Hags, and this is Aftermath. And this has a very nice scent. I got this at the Razor Company, and it was $23.99 for 4.02 ounces. And that is on our cost chart there. Pricey at $5.96 an ounce, but you have to consider... This is coming all the way from Greece, so you got to factor that cost in a little bit. The scent on this is very nice. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. This is inspired by Homage Interlude Man. It is a nice, to my nose, spicy sort of fragrance. It is very, very nice. The scent strength on it is about medium high, so pretty robust, I would say. And I've had really good luck with Hag soap so far, and I hope to have another good run with it today. I'm going to put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This is a vegan soap, and there's a ton of ingredients in there. There's a ton of ingredients in there, as you can see there. Uh, I have to say, my lather might look a little lackluster today, because I started making uh, a lather, then I had to go and do something, and I had to come back, and so it was all dried out. So if it doesn't look good, don't blame the soap. It will be a good lather uh, in terms of function, so keep that in mind. The razor for today, or the razor we're using, is the Heritage Collection Adjustable Razor. And this razor was um, put up on sale as sort of a beta test. I think I paid like 20 some bucks for it maybe back in the summer, last summer. And they haven't came out with the production version yet, but it is an adjustable, adjustable razor. It's based on the Gibbs design, I do believe. And we're just going to use this today because we haven't used it for a long time. And let's get into the shave. It's been another long day today, so we're going to start by misting the face. And we'll get into the lather here. Scent on this again. The soap scent amazing. And I think the lather will be just fine. Again, I'm, I'm in a different... Uh, bathroom here because my mom is convalescing downstairs and she had a very long day today. She just got out of the hospital yesterday and today she was back there, you know, getting glabs and getting a transfusion and uh, she has a blood clot right around her uh, catheter where their her port, let's let's say. And there's nothing they can do about that right now because um, uh, her platelets are so low. They can't really give her a blood thinner. There's really nothing uh, that we can do right now. So we really have to keep an eye on that and just hope and pray that, you know, nothing bad happens as a result of that. Like, you know, we make progress and then we have setbacks and it's just really an emotional roller coaster. So folks, my advice, um, just do what you can to be uplifting to every everyone you encounter um, on the street, uh, in social media. Just, you know, do good things, be nice and uplift people because a lot of people can sure use it. And I tell you, seeing this process has really changed my um, outlook and the way I go about my life uh, in many, many ways. Um, just understanding the importance of lifting people up and, and putting something positive out there for the world and not just, you know, droning on about negative stuff and arguing and fighting with people all the time and just being a drag. So uh, what I've learned from this is that is that, you know, life is precious and it is short and sometimes it's it's fragile. And so, you know, do good things while you're here as, you know, to the best of your ability. And I know you didn't come to hear a, a preaching sermon today, but uh, that's been on my mind today because it's just every day is a tough day. But um, you know what? You can also use the time you have here to do good, to help people, to uplift people. And uh, that's something I think we can all use. I'm going to do a two-pass shave today because I need to get back downstairs and, uh, you know, make sure all is well with uh, mom and again, this is just a long and grueling process, but we're going to keep plugging and doing the best we can and just try to be Uplifting not only here, but for you all as well. So I want to thank you all for all you do I really appreciate it and you have a commitment for me that I'm going to try to do my best To bring you good stuff to you know in years past we weren't we didn't have the best mindset or um, Perspective and we put a lot of negative stuff out there and I'm embarrassed by that really <laughs> now um, and I apologize uh, for that. But you know, we all make mistakes. We learn. You're never too old to learn. You're never too old to change your perspective. 
and just uh, understand folks, life is definitely preciously short and make the most of it. Let's just have fun with each other. Let's show love to each other. And that is truly the way to be in my opinion. And so it's, I think it's, it's far easier to navigate these sometimes difficult waters when you have that mindset, or at least it has been for me. All right, let's get to the shade because that's why you're here. So this razor, really, really nice. Now, one of the things about this razor, this is a beta razor, not the full version. And the spring outside, the spring inside, <laughs> it's hopefully gonna be spring outside soon. But anyway, the spring inside this razor, one of the things that I think Matt Lawrence noticed early is um, it's not stainless or a material that won't rust and it started to rust immediately and I took mine apart and it was rusted too. Now keep in mind, this was a beta. That's why we're here to test this stuff out. So that was identified and I'm sure that will be fixed if the production version ever comes to fruition. I haven't heard anything about this for a good long time. So who knows? I don't know if this razor is going to, you know, come out, so to, so to speak at some point in the future or not. Um, then I went the other day to the Heritage, web, Heritage website and I got like a 404 error. The website was down. So I don't know what, what's going on with the Heritage collection right now or whether this razor's on hold or whether he's still working on it. But it's a nice little shaver. I'll tell you that it is adjustable, which is cool. And we're going to try to get a good pass in the second pass. Um, anyway, it, it is a nice shaver. Now the soap here, the quality on it, is very nice despite me having to literally I made I started making the lather then I had to actually go in my car and go somewhere go pick up some stuff and then come back so it's been like an hour <laughs> two hours since I originally started making <laughs> the lather but you know it's holding up just fine the quality on hags is good you can use it with confidence um, I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed the scent so far I think I own three maybe um, it's nice I've really enjoyed it so far the labels are kind of cool it's got a sort of a, you know, space, spacey sort of theme, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Some people say PAA-esque, and PAA definitely does more space than anybody else. It might have been the first in the, in the artisanal realm to do space-themed stuff, but Hags is here doing it as well, and, and doing it very well. This is a good quality vegan soap, I have to say. I've been impressed by it so far. All right, let's get this second and final pass underway here. Very nice, no problem at all today, as far as the shave goes. Um, the soap quality, again, very, very good. So I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna complain. Honestly, I don't ever even remember which way my first pass was. My head is like, <laughs> it's spinning these days, as you might understand. And my poor sister, I'm sure her head is spinning even more because she was at the hospital today with uh, my mom, which was just supposed to be like appointments and transfusion, then it turned into needing an ultrasound and spending all day. So my mom's first day out of the hospital was in the hospital mostly. So, you know, so I'm very, very grateful for my sister who's doing a tremendous amount of work too here. So thank you so much um, for that to my sister. Bless her. She is a saint, let me tell you. Um, and bless you all too for listening to me. I know I'm supposed to be talking about shaving and it's hard. It's hard. But we press on. Um, and again, this this razor, I think it's a nice little shaver. I think if it ever comes out, it's going to be nice. I think he was shooting for somewhere in the 40s um, in terms of price for this razor. It's pretty well finished uh, given that, you know, the target... Um, sort of price point. If you fix that spring inside so it's not rusting all over everything, that'd be great. But the shave, you know, pretty good. Pretty good. I don't really pay attention to a lot of the uh, adjustment numbers on here. It is adjustable. I don't think I showed you that, but you know, as you can see there, that blade gap is, it's got some good range of adjustment there. And you could even unscrew this bottom and pull this handle down and make it even, it adjusts quite wide actually if you do that. But I'm not sure how the numbers actually work on it. Uh, not sure even have it assembled 100% properly in terms of where that's supposed to be sitting, the uh, numbers that is. So I don't worry about it. I just kind of open the, the razor to where I want it and give it a go. <laughs> you know, kind of unconventional. But at 20 bucks, you know, what can you expect? Um, it's a good shaver, that much I can tell you. And it actually doesn't look bad. The fit and finish on it was surprisingly good given the price, at least in my opinion. All right. 
So, we've got a quick two pass shave in there. I mean, it wasn't lightning fast because I was just droning on about, <laughs> about everything, but you know, it's a nice little shaver, I have to say. Uh, again, if you fix that spring in there so it's not rusting all over everything, it'd be awesome. It's a nice little shaver at a nice price point. Again, I think it was expected to be somewhere, somewhere around 40 bucks if it ever comes to fruition. So, you know, there is that. Now let's talk a little bit about Hags before we end the video. Really nice shaving soap. If you have not tried Hags, and Hags stands for have a great shave, it is a soap worth trying. So check it out wherever it is sold. I get this, of course, from the, the Razor Company. And I've, I, I've enjoyed all the soaps that I've gotten from um, Hag so far. Very good quality soap. Great scent on this one. Check this one out. If you like spicy sort of scents, this one, which is, once again, Aftermath, might be for you. And I apologize for the videos being all over the place right now. It's just sort of, it is what it is. <laughs> Hope you'll bear with me. And remember, folks, remember, just be a blessing. Do your best to be a blessing. Don't put a bunch of negative, toxic stuff out there in our space to pollute everything. Remember, we lift people up or we lift them out because we have no room for any, for any negativity or just fighting or carrying on. Let's just be kind to one another. Let's love one another. That's what we need. It really is. Thank you so much, folks. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.